and I am on the Holy Spirit part six and we are learning about the Holy Spirit recalling things bringing things to your remembrance uh, uh, John 14 26 you will recall what you have learned if there's anything that you forget to ask him to show it to you and he'll bring it back to your remembrance but you can't have gook in your brain you can't have junk in your mind and, ex and expect to remember holy things oil and water don't mix Luke 12 12 the Holy Spirit will teach you what to say and so forth you did not know or have been taught in the past he will teach you what to say the Holy Spirit will teach you the, I like this the deep things of God 1 Corinthians 2 9 to 14 you cannot understand the things of God through your flesh this is where a lot of people go wrong they cannot understand the deep things of God through their flesh Psalm 42 7 deep calleth unto deep you must use the Holy Spirit to be able to understand the deep things of God you're not using but you must go through him to understand the deep things of God you could try as hard as you want to try it's not gonna work I don't care how many times you try it it's not gonna work unless you go through the Holy Spirit of God you have to go through Jesus amen he is the only way the Holy Spirit is here to testify about Jesus Psalms 92 5 says how great are thy works and thy thoughts are very deep see God is deep Acts 11 28 the Holy Spirit reveals things to come Amos 3 7 our eyes of understanding will be enlightened you'll know things he's the hope of in, of his calling it'll be the hope of his calling you'll have a purpose and a plan if you go through the holy spirit the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints there will be no blindness you'll be rich of god's inheritance but you will not understand god's inheritance or anything that god has for you on your own you must do it through the holy spirit the Holy Spirit guides and leads the believer now you have to have the Holy Spirit to guide you and to lead you you don't walk on your own that's who guided Moses remember God Moses was leading the people he didn't lead them by himself that wasn't all Moses that was God God he God Moses was just a vessel that God used to save him people Moses listened to the Lord amen your guide h-o-d-e-g-e-o -E -E Geo. i'm not good with pronouncing it so pronouncing so that's why i spell it guide that's what guide g-u-i-d-e is um, in the greek and hebrew to show the way to teach guide lead to give guidance the holy spirit will guide you or give you guidance into all truth for every day activity not just monday wednesday and friday every single day the holy spirit can guide you and lead you you have to live that way you can't half step he gives you <clears throat> direction for each moment for the day acts 8 29 acts 10 19 20 acts 16 6 the holy spirit forbade them not to speak see the holy spirit will tell you when to speak and he will tell you when not to speak amen if you let him so you have to let him acts 21 4 Paul was told not to go to Jerusalem remember that the Holy Spirit told him not to go to Jerusalem you know there's there's a uh, children in Christ ministers pastors and, and, and even lay people you know they somebody might say well why don't you go to so-and-so church or go over here go to this country and preach or do this or do that or go up so-and-so's house and take them some sandwiches well you know what there are some things God does not want you to do it's not time you have to listen did God tell you to do that there's people with ministries God didn't tell them to do there's people with self-made ministries they're, they're, they're they went but they weren't told to go amen they started a ministry on their own and there's people sitting up under them and God didn't start that ministry God didn't call them to do that amen mm. the Bible says God loves everything done decently and in order amen the Holy Spirit will guide you into a ministry 
and or set people in into a ministry. Acts 13, 2 to 3. The Holy Spirit will lead you. Let him lead you. Ago, A-G-O, that means led, L-E-D, led. To lead by implication, to bring, drive, go, or induce, bring forth, or carry. Um, I've got to tell you this little story here. I'm in between churches right now because the Lord has, has uh, called me to do something a little different than people are used to. And I don't mind because I know that I'm listening to the leading of the Holy Spirit. I left a beautiful church. And I love the people there. And they love me too. And I had a good time there. But God called me out to do something else. He wanted me to rest. God called me into a rest. And I just went to a church today. Um, and, and I had a really good time, actually. This, today's what? Uh, April 13th, 2008. And I went to the church. had a good time today. Now, see, I waited. I haven't been in church in, in, a, in a few months, uh, uh, quite a while. And everybody was saying, oh, you need to be in the church. I had, I had an elder tell me one time, you need to be in the church. I see God written all over you. Yeah, you got him in you. He's written all over you, but you know you got to be planted and you this and that. And, and I was thinking to myself, he's trying to tell me something and God had already told me what to do. So you have, you know, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. When God called me to rest, people got mad. I mean, people, people got heated. They're like, what are you doing? Aren't you supposed to be doing this and doing it? You're supposed to be in church, aren't you? Well, you know what? I said this and I'm going to say it again. The next, because I used to be a pastor. I had a church down here in Houston, Pennsylvania, but it flooded. We had a really bad flood. It flooded twice. And the church wasn't big enough financially to bring it back up again, so I had to, I had to let go. But it, boy, believe me, it hurt a lot of people. <laughs> I mean, I, I feel real bad about that. But God has taken care of us ever since. Me and my children and the people that came to the church, we still love each other and keep in contact with each other. But... Whatever God wants me to do next, if he wants me to pastor another church, I will. If he wants me to go to somebody else's church and sit under them, I will. If he wants me to sing or something, I will. If he wants me to just do Bible studies, they, well, they call me the, what do they call me? The, the, oh, the, they call me the covered dish Bible study lady anyhow. I do all kinds of Bible studies for people and we always bring covered dishes and we eat and it's good. <laughs> but uh, we get two foods. We get the word. We get fed by the word, we get fed, our bellies get fed. But you know, right now I'm not going to do nothing until God tells me to do it. And when I hear the Holy Spirit whisper into my ear and tell me where to go and what to do, that's what I'll do. Hey, I'm ordained. I'm ordained twice over. I don't know my own church. I done been on TV. I done been on radio. I did all that cute, proper, pretty stuff. And now it's time to sit back and let God do it. See? You know, and watch and see what God, what else God wants me to do. You know, so many people are so busy trying to keep their title and keep their position. You know, you, God can sit you down. God can sit you down. So don't try to be cute. When God shows me where I have new birth ministries on Yahoo group, new birth ministries at yahoogroups.com. And, you know, we don't type extremely a lot. We don't have that many members. But, I mean, we pray for each other and keep in contact with each other. And I enjoy that. But until God shows me where to go and what to do, I will stand. I will stand and wait on him. And this is what you need to do, too. Stand and let the Holy Spirit lead you. Romans 8.14 says, As many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Amen. Remember that Romans 8, 14, being led of the Holy Spirit is a mark of sonship and growth. Amen. John 10, 3 to 5. He lets you make the choice. I hope you make the choice to let the Holy Spirit lead you. Also, regardless of what other people say.